Hey folks, Bridges here. Um, just wanted to do a quick video as a refresher on Tinkercad for this uh, little, um, it's a mini project and it's mini golf. So that's fitting. So I went ahead and just went to tinkercad.com um, in my browser and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now I'm going to click on educators. You're going to click on students, uh, but we're both going to click on sign in with Google. So once we have signed into Tinkercad with Google, hopefully you're seeing this. Good. Um, we're going to create a new design. You can see I've started one here, and it gives it this weird name, Daring Cup. Um, I actually don't like that name, so I'm going to click on the thing here, and I'm going to go to Properties and change the name of it. I'm going to call it Mini Golf. And I'll show you the other way to change that in a minute. You guys don't have one to start with here, so I'm going to create. You're going to go to create a new design. So once you've created your new design in Tinkercad, um, just remember there are some different ways that you can move around using. If you have a mouse, it's much easier, but you can do this um, also with with the view cube up in the top by clicking and dragging. Um, and we're going to start off with a solid. Remember, the solids are the colored objects, and then the the hollow spaces, um, those are like cutouts. So we're going to add one of those in a minute. So let's start out by dragging a box over onto our work surface. And let's just stretch that box out and pretty much take up all of the surface that we that we have available to us. I think we should basically fill up this work plane or close to it. And I'm going to go a little bit fast on this video. Feel free to um, pause it and go back and check it out. OK, um, with this solid, I'm going to go ahead and change the color now with this uh, solid selected. I'm going to change the color from red to, as you might have guessed, a green color. Cool. And I'm also going to lower it down just a little bit. Now, right now, those units are you might be asking yourself, what are this? What are these 17 or 20 or that height? What is that? And it's actually in millimeters. So um, I know that most of us don't operate in millimeters, but I'm just going to choose an arbitrary number. So we'll call it eight. All right now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this um, absence of space. So it's like a it's like a cutout, and I'm going to drag it um, almost as far. So I'm going to leave sort of a little border around the edge, a little wall. If you've ever played mini golf, you know that it's not very fun if you don't have walls to bounce your golf ball off of. Okay, so I'm going to go out almost as wide as my my green area, and here's the tricky part. Okay, if I cut this out right now, it's going to cut out like a picture frame and it's, and it's going to be down to, we're going to cut all the way down to the table in the middle. I don't want to quite cut all the way down to the table. I want to leave a little green floor in the bottom. So I'm going to use this little um, black cone right here and I'm going to drag my shape up. You can see it lifts my whole block, my whole absence of material up out through. Okay. And remember if it's down at zero, then it's all the way to the bottom of the, of the green block as well. So I actually want to have my number be right around, Oh, I don't know two or three, maybe even four. So what that does is I've brought my hole up above the bottom surface of my green. Okay. Now, right now you might be saying that doesn't look like a much of anything. Well, what we want to do is we want to select our two objects either by clicking and dragging, or you could alternatively, you could click one object and then hold shift on your keyboard and click the other object. Either way, you want to select both of those shapes, the, the solid and then the, the absence or the hole. And once they're both selected, you want to check up here in your um, toolbar to make sure that you have um, two shapes selected. And with those two shapes selected, we're going to click right here to combine or join them, group them is what it's called. And when you click group, you can see it cuts out that space. Since we raised our shape up off the bottom, it leaves the bottom, um, basically the floor of that green right there. And I think that's what we're going to operate with as the base plate of our mini golf. At this point in time, um, you can choose, you can use the cylinder here to place wherever you think the hole should go. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller than that, and I'm going to keep it be a circle. So make sure those two numbers are the same. Okay. Nine and nine or, or nine and, or 10 and 10 or something like that. There we go. And again, I'll combine this shape of shift click onto my, my base plate, and then I'll choose join and it combines those two together. So now I've got a hole in the corner of my putting green. And I'm just going to continue um, to, to build obstacles. I'm actually going to place a little 
a little T pad, maybe right here. Okay, maybe right here in the middle or maybe over here in the corner. I'm actually going to place it right here. And I'm going to have some obstacles between the T pad and the hole. So I'm going to take that like that. That's where I'm going to start with my, my golf ball, and I'm going to have to hit around some objects to get it to the hole in the end. So um, just have fun. Drag out some different shapes. Uh, you can you can move things around. You can bring things up and down. You can you can actually um, you can do all kinds of fun stuff on here. Um, what you can do, you'll see in the other videos, you can import models um, in from other websites and bring them into this as well. Okay, some uh, some websites that you could use to do that include Thingiverse. Com. You can search for models on here that you like. All right, so you could you know bring in a shark or you could bring in a lizard or um, whatever little character that you want. Pokemon, I think they did. Um, and you can save it to your computer and upload it into your design here. But um, I think that's enough to get you guys started. Um, remember, at least a minimum of two obstacles. Let me show you one more thing before I before I sign off. I'm going to show you. Um, this little this little trick here. I wanted to make a hill with a flat spot on top. So the way that I do that is I make this incline coming up off of the little ramp coming off coming up off my surface. And then I want to take a a box absence of space and I want to place it. I don't know what happened just there. I want to drag it up. And now you can see that my box is intersecting the top portion of that of that um, triangular prism. And when I shift click and select both of those shapes and I group them together, it's going to put a flat spot on top right there like that. So now I can hit my ball up on top of the, you know, the elevated green and look for the hole up there or something, something along those lines. All right, y'all have fun. Um, go ahead and make yourself a putting green with at least two features. Uh, at least two obstacles and uh, have a good time with it. Let me know if there's any questions that you have or if I can help. Thanks.